Hello everybody and welcome back to Analog Vernacular. Today we're going to be playing some Persona 5 Royal and uh, I kind of just wanted to start this off because I had a request and I've seen this question come up a couple of times in my comments. People have been asking where does the name Analog Vernacular come from? So when I came up with the name basically it was because of you know one of the jobs that I do is as an AV director, an audio video director. So, um, as an audio video director at my job, I really like the uh, shorthand to AV. So when I was coming up with my name, I wanted something that could shorthand to AV to tie back in with audio and video, which is, you know, one of my passions is, you know, doing audio and video editing and producing. So that's kind of where it came from, and then I just came up with analog vernacular based on that. Analog because of analog media. Um, I used to have a job back in college where I would take analog media, um, such as old 16mm, 8mm film, and convert it to digital HD formats. Um, I would also do this with old radio broadcasts that were stored on vinyl records, which is also another analog format. So I worked with a lot of different analog media, Betacam, um, Umatic tape, all of that stuff, reel-to-reel -reel audio tape, um, you name it, I worked with it. So, you know, since I worked with a lot of uh, analog material and stuff, that's just where the name came from. And vernacular was just because I needed something with a V. So that's what I came up with. Whether it's good or not is all up to you guys. You guys can let me know if my name is just absurd or not. I've had some people tell me, dude, I don't even understand, like, what the hell that name means. Honestly, I don't either. Analog vernacular. It's uh, unique, at the very least, so I don't know if that's good or bad, but... It's worked out all right for me so far. What's up, Makoto? So, that'll, that'll answer your question. This is no time for detours. You're not gonna... Oh, <laughs> I was looking at a sign. Okay. What's up, girl? Hello. Are you investigating here with your friends today? I hope something comes from it. Uh, I'll be counting on you. Mm. Is she following us? Nah, that can't be. Oh, she definitely is. We've caught her. Hmm? Once again, nothing to report. There are many people falling victim, yet no perpetrators. They appear and disappear as they please. Not only that, but they blend in with normal teenagers. Stop complaining. If we don't try getting information, people will say the police are useless. The media are already on our case, and the higher-ups aren't doing a thing. This is a bad for morale. This is a bad. Hey, aren't you interested in all the hottest brand names? We're having a special sale just over there. How about you go take a peek? We ordered way too much, so I have a ton left over. My boss will kill me if I go back to him with all these extras. Look, I'll sell them to you for cheap. What do you say? What should we do? It depends on the price, wouldn't you say? Run. Hey, what about you? These are unforgettable deals. I'm busy. Well, that's disappointing. Come back if you change your mind. Come on, the shop's right around here. How about you come take a look? Seems like some kind of sale. You probably shouldn't bother. You're, you're not suspicious of that at all, Morgana? Really? <laughs> What's wrong, kid? Don't see guys like me very often? Are you in the Mafia? <laughs> I want a part-time job. Yeah, that's a bad way to go about it. Uh, I want a part-time job. Hmm, is that supposed to be some kind of password? I have no idea what you're talking about. I haven't been here long. Try talking to someone else. Introduce me. That ain't so easy. I only know one guy around here. Sometimes I see him in the alley across the way, but I don't think he's there today. He might be near the station. Go there if you want to see him. Hmm, maybe this other person would know something? Apparently he's near the train station, so let's take a look over there. Hmm? Okay. So yeah, let's just go to the train station then. Dude, that dude is tall! What's up, man? Miss President's here. I walked past her at the station. Is she keeping an eye on us? Maybe. I guess she's curious about all of this. Well, let's just ignore her if she's not getting in our way. More importantly, how are things on your end, or on your guy's end? Nothing so far. I'm going to try stalking out the underground walkway. Staking out. Then I'll check around the Inogami line. I guess I'll get there from the underground? I will gather some more intel in the underground shopping mall as well. 
Please continue on your end, Analog. Everyone's really going about this seriously. They're definitely worthy of being phantom thieves. We can't fall behind either. Let's look for that homeless man. Okay. Why? Oh look, Makoto made her way over here, huh? Oh. You seem to be working hard. Did you find any clues? I'm looking for hmm. someone. Hmm? You're trying to find a homeless person? That's a good idea. They would know a lot about what goes on in this town. I haven't seen any here, but I would bet there are some in the underground area. Hmm. Underground. Hmm. I don't like the idea of it, but we should go check it out. How about you, old man? Seriously? What's with that scary look on your face? If you have something to say to me, just say it. I want a part-time job. Part-time job? You're not talking about some ordinary job, huh? Take my advice, don't do it. They'll squeeze every last penny out of you with threats and extortion. Some of my friends have fallen victim to their schemes. That mafia is evil, I tell you. How do I meet them? They'll come to you eventually if you walk around this area, around now. But just so you know who to avoid, I'll teach you how to tell them apart from normal people. They use some weird phrases, code words, you know? That's how they communicate with each other. Anyway, watch out if you hear any of that stuff. They'll try to come for you even during the day. They're relentless when it comes to targeting teens. How's it going? Have you found anything? Maybe a little. Ah, so you've grasped something already, as to be expected to someone like you, Analog. Why don't we just go over the intel we've gathered so far? I'll start. Supposedly some guy near the access way talking about some kind of strong drugs? I'm not counting on anything, but I'll go check it out. As for me, I heard about someone soliciting a high-paying job in the station plaza. Apparently, they're mostly targeting girls. I'll go see what it's about. On my end, I heard there are people saying strange things in the back alley near the arcade. Something about ice and vegetables, and something about snow tomorrow? I will go observe just in case. The arcade is on Central Street, correct? So yeah, this is like giving you three kind of options, and guess what? Yusuke's right. is the only one we can to help them out. that had code words. I have no idea which of these leads are real. Try going to the most suspicious sounding place. Okay. So it's gonna be uh, behind the arcade. Oh hey, on. Sorry. There's nothing over here. Look, someone's asking about a video shoot over by the train, but I guess that's for models. In any case, they're not here. Go try to see what Ryuji and Yusuke have. <sighs> I was simply wondering where the arcade is. I'll be going now. Arcade? You're a high school student, aren't you? You better not be looking for trouble. All kinds of shady activity happens at arcades. What are you talking about? It's nothing more than a place you go to play games. Hmm? That's the second time we've heard that shady shit goes on at the arcade. What's that about? Maybe we're supposed to go in the arcade? You again, I take you found your guy at the station. And please stop talking to me. I don't want to get involved in all this shady business. My shift's finally over. Ugh, I feel awful. I drank a shit ton. Maybe I should find a new job. You know any opportunities for making money quick? You mean like those sneaky guys in the back alleys? You'll probably have to swindle some kids. God, I can never be a pusher. I don't want to get arrested. Okay, looks like this is where we're supposed to go. Hello? Hello, Makoto. Have you made any progress toward finding the boss? Working on it. Shibuya's a big place. Well, you aren't wrong about that. Hey, you two got some time? I have a great job for you. Here we go. It's real easy. Guess you could call it a delivery job. It seems we didn't have to look very hard in the end. You're high schoolers, yeah? Don't you want something more than just your allowances? Hmm. By delivery, do you mean that of suspicious materials? Makoto! Cool it. <laughs> You're a funny girl. <laughs> Play so, it cool. You won't answer me. Then I was right. Eh? What's up with you anyways? Why are you asking all these questions, huh? Hey, violence is not the answer. Oh. 
It was all a joke. Why would I get worked up over some dumb kids? Anyways, I can't hang. See ya. Um, if you don't want to deal with us, we could always go see your boss ourselves. Oh no. You really gonna say that knowing who he is? <laughs> no way I believe that. Well, I'm out of here. You guys are annoying me. Makoto is smart, but she does not have street I'm smarts. I'm pretty sure he's part of the mafia we're looking <laughs> for. Well, let's go after him. I think we should get some proof before we do that. I tried to trick him into saying something, but he dodged all the traps I was laying down. By the way, thanks for standing up for me. I I'm going to go now. Any day, girl. Any day. That boss seems tricky. And it looks like he taught his subordinates well, too. No wonder the police are having trouble catching him. Anyway, you have some serious guts. You didn't back down at all against that hooligan. Though we still didn't end up with any new information. Let's stop here for today. How about it? Want to meet up? You guys can decide. Do you think it's safe, though? We did ask tons of people, so there's a chance we're getting followed. Just to be safe, we should refrain from doing anything to make ourselves stand out. The sun will be setting soon, so let us disband for today and report our f on our findings tomorrow. Why don't we meet at karaoke tomorrow? We can talk in private and it'll be cheap after school. Ah, oh, that must be what they call hustle hour. <laughs> Dude, it's muscle hour? Wait, is that wrong too? Um, hello? Happy hour? Muscle hour just sounds sweaty. <laughs> anyway, see you guys at karaoke tomorrow. I mean, they are teenagers. They shouldn't be out drinking, so... <laughs> They, they don't need to know about the happy hour. It's an unknown number. Hello, this is Nijima. Makoto Nijima. Well, hi, girl. Thanks for earlier. How'd you get my number? I dug it up. I realize I'm apologizing <laughs> after the fact, but it just didn't feel right keeping it from you, so that's all. <laughs> You're a strange one, Makoto. You talking to a woman? I heard her voice. <laughs> Speaking of, some girl called looking for you around noon. Said she's the class president. Well, now we know where she got the number. Said she's got something that belongs to you. <laughs> she seemed to know you, so I gave her your number. Oh, she must Sajiro. Have up LeBlanc's address trying to contact you. That Nijima sure is thorough. Then again, she called you just to apologize. It's a bit weird, but maybe she's not so bad after all. Yeah, I think so, Morgana. She seems all right. Oh, we can actually do something tonight. Okay. Sajiro and EY, huh? I think I'm actually going to keep working on Charm. Ooh, it is a rainy day. So let's go to the bathhouse. And we've got a crossword puzzle. Hey, oh hey. dear, time to embarrass myself with another crossword. Are you going to play crossword puzzles? You have other stuff to do, so don't get too into it. All right. Oh, Nihonga, a cultural work, artwork. Great, it's Japanese art. Something I know so much about. Um, sushi wrapper, um, seaweed? There must be some other name for it. Kimono sash, oh god, this is all... Yeah, I'm looking this one up, sorry guys. Japanese floral art, I don't know the name for any of these, so... <laughs> this one's, uh, very Japanese-centric, and I do not know enough. So, yeah, give me just a second. Okay, interesting. So I actually did know that Nihon was uh, the the word in Japanese for Japan. Like we call it Japan, there they call it Nihon, right? So um, Nihonga is just Japanese art. So the word is literally just Japanese. Japanese cultural artwork is Nihonga. Okay. Interesting.
In contrast to imported Western art styles, paintings produced post-1900 using techniques developed within Japan are referred to as Nihanga. Foreigners visiting Japan during the Meiji period called this Japanese painting, which the literal Japanese translate as Nihon, Japan, and Ga, artwork. All right. I see. Oh wow, even I couldn't figure that one out. Nice. Maybe you got a bit smarter after solving these crossword puzzles. Okay, have I gotten my SP oh. items this week? Ooh, I have not. Next time we go to the school, I have to see if uh, we can get that. Mm. Okay, let's I save before something. we do this. Mm. Wow, this steam is pretty intense. What do you want to do? Let's go in. It's a bit too hot. I should get out before I get lightheaded. What's up? <laughs> Whoa, you're so red. Are you okay? I know it feels good, but don't overdo it. Charm is up! Yes! Is Suave the one that I need for uh, our girl Takemi? Because if not, I'm going to be very, very sad. All right. I have to admit, pushing yourself that much is kind of impressive. And then this is what? Guts? Yeah! So I think that only happens on rainy days. Hey, hey! It'd be nice to head home soon, but can you move? <laughs> Damn, man. Didn't know the bath could wreck you that hard. Is it just me, or are there a ton of police here today? I've got a job you could do. Want to hear more? Another psychotic breakdown? Oh, you mean how they're increasing security in Shibuya? They're the scum of society. Hurry up and arrest them. So, we meet again. My what murky weather we're having. How's it going, Akechi? Speaking of murky... There haven't been any new developments in the Phantom Thief incidents. If they go so far as using calling cards to get attention, I doubt Madarame's case will be the last. What kind of target will they choose next? What do you think? Well, criminal I would think. They've all been criminal so far. The Phantom Thieves only target criminals, huh? Is that really true? Supposing it is, there are plenty of villains in the world. How do they choose who to go after? Hmm. Oh, sorry. I'm getting lost in my own head. I have to stay on top of any Phantom Thieves' activity due to what I said on the air. If you hear any rumors at school, I hope you can let me know. Aw, oh, for real? We didn't get anything? God, they suck. <laughs> and we're going nowhere with this. Hey, can't we ask Miss President to change it up? You mean, change our target? Just gotta show our justice to satisfy her, right? There are tons of shitty adults in this world. It's not like it matters who we're going after. Nope, she, she needs it to be these, the these guys. But I bet it's just so she can go brag about it on college apps. But that mafia is stealing money from kids. We can't just accept that. It doesn't matter who the target came from anymore. Ahn's right. We want to give courage to the weak. Isn't this the perfect target to accomplish that goal? They really have no talent. <laughs> Never thought it'd be this noisy if you weren't singing. Anyways, Burns, I'm sure man. we'll shut a catchy up if we pull this off, but... That's exactly why we should do it. It all comes down to intel in the end. If we don't start finding tips on that front, we'll never get any further than this. There has to be someone who has what we need. What about the media? That's right! 
What about that journalist? You mean the woman who was staking out Matarame's house? Oh, yeah! I completely forgot about her! Didn't she give you her card? The business card says Ichiko Oya of Maiyasa Newspaper. This is for a rather major publication. Think we can trust her? There's no other way. Okay, let's contact her. Oh, yes. Thank you. He says our time's up. Should we extend it? Happy hour's over, yeah? Eh, come on. Let's just go. <sighs> How wasteful. <laughs> <laughs> Look at those full drinks. <sighs> Anyways. Yusuke can't stand just it. Gotta wait for that journalist to email us back. Let us know ASAP when she responds. Got it? I mean, did they even karaoke at all? Hey. You've been coming home late. Hope you're not sticking your nose in other people's business. <sighs> She's as sharp as ever. But it's more like we're the ones being dragged into things. Yeah, in this case. Housekeeping service. Any plans of using the housekeeping service? I worked today, so I was hoping that you'd request me. Anyway, I'm leaving for work now, so I'll talk to you later. Kawakami's working today. Use the yellow phone if you want to call her. Decide later. Whoops. Okay, neither of them are ready. Damn. Okay. I could try and do coffee again to get Sajiro ready, but I don't know how many affinity points he needs, and coffee only gives me one. I should write something. Let's see, I've got a hero font. So I can either do that, or I can work on stats. Okay, this one's more charm. How's this doing? Plant nutrients! Yeah, let's give it the bio nutrients. We need to go and buy some more the next chance we get. Add some free kindness. Which is the only one that's at level 2 now. Still nothing from that journalist. We still have over 10 days though. I have no doubt she'll get in contact with us before then. Okay, so what are my options for guts? There's nothing at the diner, right? Um, so we have the Big Bang Challenge. Is that all we have? <laughs> That might be all we have. We might be able to go and get a new DVD. Let's look at Kawakami and Sajiro. And see what their next ability is. So free time at rank 5. Gain free time in other teachers classes with Kawakami's help. And then we've got... The curry at rank 4. Allows you to make curry that slightly restores SP of all allies. That's pretty useful too. Let's hang out with Pops. You got time right now? There's still some time left on the clock today. How about it? I can teach you the ropes. Help him out. All right, then. Put your stuff down and grab an apron. Don't forget to wash your hands. Sajiro's guidance is extremely precise. I did just as he told me. Thanks. Hey, thanks for helping out. Makoto. Damn, that went fast, didn't it? I received a call from your school today. They were asking if you've made any lifestyle changes recently. Huh? <sighs> I gave them a suitable enough answer, but is there some kind of issue at school? No, it's nothing. I'm sorry to worry you. 
Hey. You've been coming home late these days. I doubt you would do such a thing, but try to avoid wandering around Shibuya late at night. I've heard stories of girls your age throwing their lives away out there. Getting wrapped up in shady deals, blackmailed into sex work? I've heard rumors about that as well. People have been mentioning it at school. These aren't mere rumors. I know of a few such cases. <sighs> well, it should be nothing for you to worry about. Just concentrate on your studies for now. <sighs> They're unforgivable. What do you guys think? I think we can win her over to our side. Yo, did that reporter get in touch with you yet? We only just emailed her the other day. Why are you so hasty? I don't know, I've been looking for info, but I can't find a damn thing. We only got two weeks left, man. Duh, we're in a hurry. To be more precise, it's ten days. We ain't gonna have much time, even if we start right after she responds. Looks like this battle will have to be a quick one, then. We must also consider what we do in case she fails to respond entirely. Hey, don't jinx us. I am merely discussing all the possible outcomes. Ain't you nervous about this? Nervousness will not help us solve anything at this point. Were that the solution to our problem, I would be much quicker to turn to panic. Wow, he's like some kind of philosopher. I think he's just an idiot. <laughs> Burn. Nijima Senpai, aren't you going to help me? You said you would keep it a secret, but rumors have started getting out. Wait, you didn't leak that information, did you? Calm down. They're still targeting you? Even that delinquent found out. He might try and threaten me too. Why is this happening to me? I can't afford to keep paying. I, I found some clues regarding your incident. I just need you to wait a bit longer. You're really gonna help? Everyone thinks you're just doing it for a letter of recommendation. That is not true. My goal here is to protect the students of this school. Please, please hurry. <sighs> it's a lot of pressure for a kid. We'll just have to wait for any word. Let's just prepare the plan in the meanwhile. Sorry to bother you while you were expecting information from that journalist. However, do you remember that thread about the group of burglars in Shibuya? It seems the one who posted about his brother is a student at my school. And so after some prodding, I was able to pry a few more details out of him. Alright, I was actually wondering about that. It didn't sound like they had anything to do with the mafia we've been chasing. Indeed. Now I was able to ascertain his brother's name. It's Kazuya Makigami. Dude, it's freaking crazy that someone involved in that shit goes to your school. Nice going, Yusuke. And even found the name of the guy we're looking for. That was super awesome. All we gotta do now is punish him in Mementos. This burglar guy isn't gonna be near as scary as the Mafia. He's just a plain dude, right? We'll show him what being a Phantom Thief's really about. It seems we are unanimous, then. We can further discuss the details of the hideout. Hmm. Have our target. We also have the Mafia to deal with, too, so make sure the timing's right. Anyway, let's all meet up at the hideout when you're ready. Okay, another request. Is that two or three that we have right now? Um, we need to finish investigating the school one. Ooh, we might be able to start his. Okay, Ryuji. We can start Yusuke. I have to go and see if Takemi's ready. We might need one more rank with her, which would suck a lot, but... Yeah, we might need rank four. I'll just add this. <sighs> a patient asked me if I had a recommendation for a pair of reading glasses, but I'm not an optometrist. Oh, is it because I have an eye test chart in the wall? So, what are you here for today? Clinical trial? Oh, sorry, I'm gonna pass on it today. In order for her to depend, I may have to polish up my charm. Charismatic. Damn it. We need a lot more. I'm gonna really need to focus down my stats. This 
So yeah, we need Guts and Charm at rank 4 in order to continue EY or start EY and to continue to Kemi. I think that that requirement might be a lot heftier than it used to be. Could be wrong about that, but... Um, let's go to the school. Hey, hey. Do you remember that target we had in Mementos? The one about the mastermind behind the bullying? Yep, that's why I'm here. If the target is a student of Shujin, then they could be nearby. We should gather some information. You sure about that? I can't imagine you want me to release this video of you stealing. Fine, just stop making me bleed people dry, Sakoda. Hey, you did all that on your own. You really want me to show this to your teachers, huh, Takanashi-kun? Another word out of you and I'll debut your film to the whole world. The Yoshimori Sakoda tapes will be a huge hit. Come on, you made me do it, damn it. So a bigger jerk was pulling the strings all along. We gotta do something about this. Now that you have your target, you need to make sure everyone's on board with the mission, summon them to the hideout for a vote. So, we've got his name, right? I'll just add this. So, let's see. How many of those do we have now? Three. Cool. They're all ID'd. Good. Okay, let's go to the courtyard. I need to get my SP sodas. Okay, now we need to decide what we're going to do today. Probably start Yusuke's, and then uh, we might want to start really focusing down some of those stats. Oh, there's one other thing that I need to do. I'm pretty sure that a book is available now that I what want would to you get. Write? Oh, thank you. What would you like? Oh. Um, hmm. Really? I thought I'd be able to get that one now. Okay, that's fine. Um, yeah, the Guts Here. book. Hmm. Dang it, I really want that speed reading book. Must have a wealth of free time, if that is your decision. May I get a word in? I'd like to speak with you. Analog, do you have time? Yes, let's talk. Yes. Do you remember how I mentioned my need to understand the heart? Well, I am having a hard time grasping it. How will I be able to reach the truth of pure beauty? Analog, what should I paint to capture the contents of the heart? How about mementos? Ah, I see, mementos. The desire that emanates from that place is the root of humanity. Incredible. You honestly have a unique perspective on things. Okay. With that destination in mind, let us make haste. Oh. This distorted realm teeming with shadows, the physical embodiment of the desires of the human heart. The same thing which brought forth the beauty of the Sayori can also create such morbid fabrications. But I actually find that aspect to be quite fascinating. The heart is akin to an abyss. Now, regarding the source of my slump, I actually have an idea. In that other dimension, I saw the perversion of Matarame's heart. At that moment, the art realm I had so much faith in was distorted by greed and unchecked desires. That is when the true ugliness of the world became clear to me. And from that point forward, my brush has been stayed by crippling hesitation. <sighs> Does pure beauty truly exist, and if so, can hands tainted by Madarami's depravity capture it? Considering such intense questions only serve to distance me from reality. Doubt filled my mind. Ugh. I struggle to find a reason to move my brush again. And honestly, I still have yet to discover a suitable answer. What is the matter? Have you been overcome by an urge to paint? Give me your brush. <laughs> Please, do not rush me. I only need a little more time. Hmm, 
The lingering uncertainty present in this place seems to be sharpening my senses. I feel a revelation approaching. Hmm. Yes. Inspiration is struck. That must be it. Such brilliant composition. <laughs> ah, my heart races. <laughs> How inelegant. You wish to carry out your, dis your distorted will, foolish shadow? Let's go. I shall cut you down for interrupting my work. <laughs> oh gosh, he is gay. All right, fire and Garu. Let's go. Take this. What? Let's go. Ooh, you have Mirage. Go down! Let's go! This might not kill them. Seems to be pretty, uh... Oh, no, we got him. Okay. They just seem to pretty have pretty high defense. It seems I've become too passionate. <laughs> I'm glad you were here. You have my thanks. You're like Theo. No, I'm my own person. <laughs> I am aware. I was referring to Van Gogh's brother, Theo. Van Gogh did not achieve fame in his lifetime, but found an admirer and supporter in his brother. Please don't cut off your ears. Thanks. Well, there aren't many who are willing to deal with my eccentricity. By the way, what's in your hand? A card? It's the blank card the shadows dropped. Hmm. Whenever I see blank paper, I have the urge to draw something on it. May I? <laughs> Impossible. Good. What? Hmm. A satisfactory <laughs> result. Well, what do you think? Not bad, wouldn't you say? Soon enough, my slump will be a thing of... Recarm. Ooh, yes. Good skill. My picture turned into a real skill card? That's an amazing power, Yusuke. Indeed. Would you mind helping me further? If I can overcome this slump, I should be able to aid our group like earlier. Uh, perhaps even more so. I know. Why don't we act as the Thebes we are and strike a deal? Let's do it. It's a deal then. I can sense Yusuke's trust in me. So what's his arcana gonna be? What's it gonna be, ladies and gents? Make a guess in the comments. No cheating. Multiple cards were discovered among your belongings, replicas of the same design. I don't have a clue how these cards were used, but someone proficient in the arts was close to you. What were you having this person do? I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the Emperor Persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. Emperor. Card duplication, new ability, allows Yusuke to duplicate skill cards. Very useful, actually. Um, first chance we get, we'll have to give him that recarm so he can duplicate it. Very useful card, especially right now, early on. Um, recarm is your revive magic. So, Emperor. What does Emperor mean when it comes to Tarot? The Emperor exudes control. The Emperor shows hard work, discipline, and great self-control. There are connections between the Emperor and ideas of power, law and order, and also father figures, which is an important thing to him as he just destroyed his father figure. A reverse card can display a loss of control or authority or show a level of immaturity. So yeah. All right. I mean, already you can tell his character is definitely built upon that, that baseline.
To copy a skill card, give you a blank card and the card you want to copy. Both cards will be available for you to pick up the next day. The blank card will be transformed to create the new skill card. Yusuke will return both the new and original cards to you. Blank cards can be obtained from search objects in Mementos. Uh, try to find as many as you can. And uh, we can buy them from Jose too, right? I've completed a rough sketch. I'll finish this back at the door. I'll contact you once it's done. I'm in your debt. Thank you for your assistance today. You helped me discover some truly wonderful inspiration. I must say I never expected my art skills would ever prove useful for the Phantom Thieves. I have to hold up my end of the deal, so I'll perform the best of my ability. You need only ask. Thanks. I should be the one thanking you. Without your help, I could not have finished today's piece. Now, we should be heading back. I have to apply the finishing touches as soon as possible. Huh. For the first time in a long while, my brush will dance again. See you. Farewell. The journalist responded to me. The Crossroads Bar. This is from that journalist, right? She wants to meet you there now? Looks like this crossroads place is in Shinjuku. A meetup in Shinjuku. What's Shinjuku like? Let me see. I guess to put it simply, it's a nightlife district for adults. You should send everyone a message and let them know what you're up to. Shinjuku at night, eh? Well, that sounds rather dangerous. Where should we meet up? Stand by on. It'll be easier to move around with less of us. My apologies, I don't have the money to take the train there. Then you're on standby too. Me and Analog will go, okay? Got it. If Analog's going, I guess there's no need to worry. We'll leave it to you then. Well, I guess that's that. Let's meet up in Shibuya. Be careful, you two. I shall be sure to save money for situations like this from now on. Wait, are you gonna go in your school uniform? It would be bad for you to stand out. You should change before you go. That is actually very smart, Morgana. You're in your uniform? <laughs> huh? No choice. I didn't have the time to go home. People aren't gonna notice anyways with this t-shirt over it. Looking good, Ryuji. That's not the issue! <laughs> are you both idiots? I'm just saying now, I won't be to blame when you get caught by the cops. Don't worry about it. That place ain't so different from Shibuya. Come on, I'll guide you. If we're going to Shinjuku, we should probably hop on the JL. Just get out of this building, and then the ticket gate should be on the right. It's go time. Is this really going to be okay? Okay. Hey! Come on, let's hop on the JL. Get out of here and head through the ticket gates on the right. Do something about it. Is this the JL? This is the Ginza line. Huh? You sure? Downstairs. Okay, thanks for Yuji. Oh, you won't believe what I heard. Okay. JL. JL. Come on, man. We don't gotta get off here. It's right next to the ticket gate. Oh, is it? Oh, it must be through here? Yeah. Let's head to Shinjuku. Hell yeah. Guess what, ladies and gents? We got ourselves a new location. A hot spot of Tokyo known for its nightlife and downtown shopping. Bars open to minors. Even if you're not old enough to drink, you are welcome to sit and chat. Is that true? That's cool. All right. You can't really do that where I'm at. Shinjuku is outside of the area where your commuter pass works, right? You'll have to pay a fare. Um, they can go into restaurants where alcohol is served, but definitely not bars. If you're underage, you're not allowed to go into bars at all. Whoa! 
Even at night, this place is bright as hell. I guess that's Shin Shinjuku for you. Hey! Stop looking around so much. You look like a tourist. Whoa! I, I was just trying to find that place we're looking for. Crossroads Bar, right up ahead. I'm sure we'll get there if we keep going straight. All right, new area. Take ourselves a nice good look around. Lots of neon, lots of signs. Man, I want to go to Japan so badly. Are you mocking me? Welcome to our Iza... Izakaya. How about some all-you-can-drink booze on the cheap? Wait, you underage? Nope. Oh, in that case, come in for an hour or two. Hey! How did you get caught up in this? Come on, ignore him. <laughs> but I want a drink. All right. No way, man. No way, man. Fine. I think there is one vending machine here. I think it's the one right up here to the left. Hey man, you want to come play? Touch all you want, no added fees. We have the cutest girls in town too. Tell me more. <laughs> did you really just ask that? <sighs> I did. Just ignore that guy, you idiot. No matter what, what way you cut it, he's a shady character. I mean, maybe he's a nice guy, you don't know. I think this vending machine here actually has SP items. If I'm remembering correctly. You have a moment? Uh-oh. Are you a student? You shouldn't be out this late. I'm a college student. Oh yeah. We're adults, you see? <laughs> hmm? Are you a friend of his? Wait a second. I've seen the pattern on those pants before. Damn it, Ryuji. Be on the news. Oh yeah. It was on that segment about the teacher who was harassing kids. Is that a school uniform? Oh, shit. Now, you kids have got to be high schoolers. Come with me. <laughs> shit. Dang it. This is why I said uniforms were a bad idea. Let's run. Because that's a great idea. Much longer until we get there. Hey, it ain't our fault we had to deal with that detour. Our school's getting real famous. That voice break, though. I excuse me. You weren't there a second ago. For the blonde one, I can sense impending woman troubles. Ha! Or perhaps it's something else. Nah, it's probably In woman any troubles. Case, horrible disaster is coming for you. Please, let me examine your future further. What? Me? Yes, I suggest you get your fortune told. What I say will surely come to pass. Uh, more of this shit. Sorry, <laughs> but we're in a hurry. And I don't really believe in that stuff anyways. I see. My apologies. However, if you change your mind, I'll be waiting here in this spot at night. May your fortunes be well. Now this is a girl you're going to want to uh, get to know very well in this game. Trust me on that one. Um, Please be careful. By the way. If you'd like your fortune read, I'll be waiting here in this spot at night. Oh, don't worry. I will be back. All right. Is that cop gone? All right, Crossroads Whoa, Bar. Man. We ain't old enough to hang out here. You sure this is the place? Here, whiskey, wine. Looks like nighttime is bar time. <laughs> Going in our uniforms is probably a bad idea. Uh, we got caught last time, too. Just wait outside. I came all the way to Shinjuku and can't even go in? Ugh, fine. I'll kill time somewhere nearby. Just let me know when you're done. We're about to meet one of the best characters welcome, welcome. and one of the worst. How old are you, boy? Which one do you think I mean for which? Lala Escargo. Sorry, Lala Chan. He's with me. Ooh, you picked up a real young one this time. Just don't let a minor <laughs> drink alcohol, okay? <laughs> Lala is the good character. Oh, yeah. Eh. She's fine. She's not the worst character in the world, but she's just so uninteresting. Lala Chan, I'm gonna borrow the seats in the back. Go on back there. I'll treat you to some water. Although it is great that it is Yukiko's voice actress. Ah, oh, she reeks of booze. <laughs> she's a drunk. <laughs> what a surprise! I thought you were joking, yet. Here you are! 
I respect that bravery, so I'll listen to what you have to say. Well, what do you want to know? I love this scene so much in particular just because it brings back so many memories of the King's game in Persona 4 Gold Golden. Oh my gosh. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you should go and watch that episode. I think it's actually the episode that I have on my channel is called The King's Game, so you should be able to go and look it up. But I, I would advise you to actually just watch through that whole game because it's amazing. But yeah, many of you know why I love that scene so much. Who controls Shibuya? Oh, why that? Well. I mean, to put it bluntly, I need intel on their boss. Hmm. Well, I do happen to know something about that. I could tell you, but... Do you know the Phantom Thieves of Hearts? You know, that case the public has been focused on lately. I was pursuing the issue of people randomly entering into a shutdown state, but I'm lacking intel. That's why I'm currently looking for new material to write about. So... Do you have any info on these phantom thieves? Why are you asking me? You're a Shujin kid, right? I remember you wearing their uniform the last time we met. I thought maybe you might have some insider knowledge on the phantom thieves because of it. Their first incident was that of Kamoshida, you know? Ideally, I'd like to get some exclusive coverage from a student who suffered Kamoshida's abuse. I would love an introduction if you know of someone who fits the bill. Seems both you and I can't really do our stuff out in the open, so... What do you say? Hmm... A student who suffered from abuse. Oh, what about that Mishima guy? <laughs> he always seems to be on the side of the Phantom Thieves. Yeah, I know someone. Bit of an odd duck. It's a deal, then! Send me your friend's contact info later. You'd better be thankful. My quick wit is the only reason we're getting this far. Now that I think about it, those mental shutdowns and the Phantom Thieves both seem supernatural. Could they be related? Or am I just hoping for a coincidence? Oh, sorry. I have a tendency to talk to myself on occasion. Well then, you can't exactly consider this an upfront payment, but... Junya Kaneshiro. I think he's probably the guy you're looking for. We got a name. Yes! You should check him out further if you're curious. But I'm not responsible for what happens next. Lala-chan, can I get a refill for this kid? We need to make a toast to our new acquaintance. <laughs> It'll be a problem if you stay too long. You should leave right after you finish your water. Not even a club soda? All right, we did it. We finally got info on the target. Let's meet up with Ryuji. How'd it go? Nailed it. For real? Awesome. Anyways, we should meet up ASAP. I'll be in front of the movie theater, so head on over. It's that kind of open area you passed on your way to the bar. So we just have to go back the way we came, huh? All right, let's go. All right. Is it gonna let me uh, look at these? Hey! Boo! Uh, this is another shop here, another bookstore, so we'll be able to get more books here. Hey! Uh, I'm tired of waiting. You get any dirt in our next target? For real? Junior Kaneshiro? Hey! Not so loud! Junya Kaneshiro and enter. All right. There we go. Okay, now we just gotta get some info on the distortion. Once we know that, it's palace time. Wait. Let's try tomorrow. It'll be better when we have the whole team together. Right, I'll tell everyone to meet up in Shibuya. Dude. This is totally crazy though. It's a huge catch, I'm pumped. Oh, you're right. He really would be a natural. But a graphic tee with plaid pants? Ugh, kill me now. Deep voice. Whoa, who the hell are they? Oh, hell has nothing to do with it, honey. I'm Angel, straight out of heaven. <laughs> and I'm Julian, Julie, if you're feeling saucy. 
What a cutie. You'd never guess he was into the drag scene. I say we show him the ropes. You can't deny it, we saw you peeking into crossroads. Well, sweetie, if you're curious, we'll help you look divine. <laughs> yeah, Lala Chan is a cross-dresser. <laughs> Whoa! Wait, hey, it's, it's not like that. Dude, help. Tell them we were just investigating or something. Sorry, man, I can't blow our cover. Hey! The mission's over. We don't even have a cover anymore. Oh, honey, you've got the shit spa and those cheekbones. I love it. That's what it takes to be a star. Just follow my lead, stud. We're gonna put your name in lights, and I know just the dress for you. <laughs> um... Well, uh, hopefully Ryuji finds his calling, or at least makes it out alive. Wanna head back? Hey, there's nothing else for us to do here, right? Let's head home for the night. And just leave Ryuji there. Did you find any clues? I have a name. You did it. Well then, let's meet up at the hideout tomorrow. Understood. Ryuji seems to be absent from this conversation. Should we contact him separately? I'm sure he'll figure it out when he checks his phone later. We're pretty much already in Kaneshiro's palace. That was surprisingly easy. Maybe we should check up on our friend? We're not. <laughs> Shinjuku sure was crazy, huh? Is that gonna be him? Oh no, it's Mishima. Hey, some girl just messaged me, messaged me saying you told her about me? She said she's interested in me. What's, what's this about? And what kind of girl is Oya-san? Is she cute or is she hot? Oh dude, she's totally cute. <laughs> Seriously? Oya-san, she said she wanted to talk. How much more forward can a girl get? Oh, he has no idea what he's getting into. I'm so mean. Is this really what I think it is? Could it be? Yep. Good for you, man. Looks like my time in the female limelight has finally arrived. This is all thanks to you. I feel like uh, starting the fan site has really changed me. Anyway, I can handle this. You introduce me, so I'll make sure I don't embarrass you. And I'll totally let you know if we end up hooking up. Yeah, you do that. You do that, Mishima. Sorry, kid. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, we're going to go ahead and end this episode right here. Thank you all for being here. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time. Have a good one.